We have done it. We have found the collection for the most part. There's probably some random stuff in other boxes, I'm sure. We found probably the main part, like my whole collection basically, uh, is what I'm trying to say. That other little box is kind of, those are like kind of expensive cards, but this has got my binders and binders. <laughs> I had to take uh, the, these binders out. They're actually like really heavy. I was surprised at how heavy they were because I, with my gamer arms, I couldn't come up the stairs with this whole box full of that. Uh, we got a plastic that's full of cards, these other binders. Uh, don't worry, this is empty. I've been saying I had a couple of these, but I only see one in here. Maybe the other ones, I have to be on the lookout for those. I see packs in that. <laughs> Hope, I wonder if they're open or sealed. I don't know. So I keep standing by, I swear I can remember being a kid and like putting away a couple packs to keep that I didn't open that I was like what if I keep these for like later on in life or something unless it's just like I had a dream and I did that or something but I, I feel like I have a pretty vivid memory of doing that uh maybe that would be it those look like gym packs gym heroes or challenge or something I don't know which is really weird because why would I have those I don't know but I swear I stopped after Fossil, but I'm finding some Team Rocket stuff, and st unless it's just like random stuff I got. I just wanted to show the box kind of deal, but like these binders are in the box. And I find I opened it up and I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was so happy. Everything looks pretty clean. I peeked in some of the binder really quick just to check and make sure it's the main stuff. And it's it for, well, especially this one binder down here. It's got all my base. And these have a bunch of holograph and I remember doing that and so we got the stuff I just gotta go through it all now and make sure but everything appears okay like there's no I don't think any I don't see anything with that would show bugs were in here or anything like that I don't think anything's bent box is bent at all what's there is there now did humidity do some stuff or something we'll find out all right so I got 58 minutes on my memory card right now and I recharged well, two of the crap batteries, and Amazon just delivered my new batteries for my camera today. So, we're going through all of this, and I'm taking my time because this is what I've been looking for for a while. So, figure this is probably the easiest way. Pick out of the box, and then go as we go. This uh, Nike box is in there labeled. N64 games, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Is it bad to be kind of disappointed that there's not N64 games in there? It's just CAD. See, I had sleeve technology back then. These are red shield deck protector i don't know oh, that's probably not good legos and what car hopefully there's nothing uh amazing in here Throw that over there what is this that kind of stuff? knock off lego thing what is that I'm spending too much time on we're here for pokemon so let's see what we got hopefully no like holographics or anything like that uh, seeing a mix here. Seeing. Oh. I was like, oh, a shallowest ratata. Ratata ta ta. That's a Red Cheeks Pikachu, right? Shallowest Red Cheeks Pikachu? That's pretty cool. A couple years. That's actually in very good. There's like literally not even any whitening on the back. I think just a dot here at the bottom. <laughs> As I almost drop it. Uh, I don't see any creases or... Sh That's actually in amazing condition. Seal shadowless. Should probably keep those to the side. I've seen a bunch of shadowless cards in here. Uh, Spiro not Japanese card. Oh, it's a Japanese squirrel. That's cool. Shadowless war turtle. Ivysaur, Poliwag. Starmie. Oh, a Charmander and a Squirtle. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know why I have that on a sleeve. Mr. Mime. Probably my most hated Pokemon. <laughs> uh, there's just like shadowless cards thrown in here. Sand True. Like Blaine's Charmander thing's cool. I, I thought I was going to start. I need to start just Japanese cards all together. Probably should hold these on camera. This is actually extremely uncomfortable. I'm like hunched over <laughs> my camera right now. 
Oh, I delete. I gotta figure out a better way than this. I was thinking of just doing it, just sitting down on the floor and kind of doing it. Shadow star, you. I guess we have to have a shadowless pile. Apparently, that's a thing. Yeah, I have some cards and sleeves. That's rare. First edition Goldeen. That's cool. We got energy for some reason. It's Japanese. Fossil. I don't know why those are sleeved up. It's just a base unlimited radicate. I don't know what the energies are. Uh, Dugong. Shadowless. Oh, some bubble zores. Oh, there was a hollow. At least it has a sleeve on it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Bunch of bubbles or probably have those sleeved up because I remember I think I said that before where it's like wouldn't it be an error kinda? That's that. That's probably not good. Uh okay. Yeah, there's a holographic rocket machamp. That's kinda cool. Japanese, uh, we got that there. Then we got jungle, fossil, stack, geodude, meow, purse. We're keeping. This is kind of annoying to organize. Krabby, Oddish. Trying, I'm, this is like not the best showing of these, but these are just, it's going to be a lot of cards like this. First edition Kabuto. Bellsprout. Agamar, that kind of has a crease in it. Shelter. First edition Karma Slowpoke, that's cool. First edition Psyduck. The hell's going on here? These recycles. <laughs> this is like bulk trainer kind of deal. Something. I don't know what's going on here. I don't. These cards. These cards are everywhere. There's like first edition fossils in there. Slowbro. Bell Sprout. Cubone. That's a really cool artwork. I don't know what that gym something. I don't know the difference between gym heroes and challenge. Which I should because I'm I was starting to before 2020 happened. I was trying to put together gym heroes. Tradition. Oh, Fuji. Almost star. I was trying to put together first edition hero or not first edition. Pidgey Shadowless. I don't know, I'd have to look up the dates, because plus power was in base, right? Just sand splash. I just finished sentence. Uh, I was putting together, trying to put together, I think like 2018 or 19 I started. Gym Heroes, whatever. Wish I would have bought the Gengar before 2020 happened, because I think that's like probably like one of the more expensive cards in the set. Should have got that. Well, I think the prices on it are coming down. That's base, but whatever. Unlimited base. It's a rare Venomoth. That's cool. That card has something down it. First edition Ammonite. Pidgeot. In Arena. That's in a sleeve. Golem. Golem, Golem. Japanese set, though. I'm not sure. That doesn't have a rarity on it. That must be from a trainer box thing. Shadowless Nidoran. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Shadowless Nidoran and there's only two unlimited base cards in there. So whatever. Okay. That was kind of cool. Especially the Red Cheeks Pikachu. That's Probably a really good find. A bunch of shadowless stuff in the Charmander, Squirtle, War Turtle. I'll just sleeve those up. Start a new recording. Should we do a binder, I guess? I have like, probably like 10 binders 
And I have a whole bunch of these small binders. This is one I almost bought. I swear I've talked about it in other videos. I remember I was gonna buy this a couple years ago, before 2020, for like $13 or something like that. I think they were selling it, but it's like the Japanese Neo binder. And as you can see here, apparently back then we paid $40 for it. Uh, I think it's a lot more than that now. I swear I saw this go up to like $100 or $200 or something like that. But I'm really glad I found it. So I remember having it and I was like, I kind of want to buy it. Just because I, I don't know why I didn't. That was like such a cheap price, $13. And this is like kind of cool thing. If I remember correctly, it's like, I don't know what this was for. Because it, it's just, it just has the starter, right? Pretty sure if I remember this correctly. So it's like a kind of a cool one. Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. I don't know why they're in a different order kind of thing. They're, they're all no rarity, so that's kind of cool. There's also like a really cool binder thing set up for it. I don't know what, is it, is it like a promotional kind of thing? I don't know what. I can't read any of it because I don't know Japanese, but that's pretty cool. Glad we found that intact and everything. A binder. And I can see it's not full. Whoa. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> what is this binder? If you kind of, well, kind of did it crabbly, but that's a Rocket Charizard right there, holographic. And then up at the top, that's another holographic Rocket Charizard. They're Japanese, but are their cards back to back? No. I mean, at least I put them in sleeves. This is like a mix. What is this? It's like a whole bunch of. Oh, Pat, that's so... F okay, is that a good deal or not? $30 for first edition Mewtwo? <laughs> um, I'm going to say that's a bargain. Hopefully it doesn't have that dent in it. I don't know. I can't really tell from here. Let's, uh, let's pull this one out real quick. I think it... Uh, is that in this? Please tell me it's in the sleeve. What else we got in here? Uh, why the hell do I have a first edition YouTube? What did I say? Old card Japanese 15. What the hell? Is that up there? Um, yeah, we need to do a quick looky loo here. Um, I don't feel it. Wait, a bend? But yeah, that's a first edition YouTube. Past, present, future is that comic shop I've talked about before that I've gone to, and where I even saw the first edition Charizard that I was begging my parents to buy. Uh, kind of has a little. It's got that ring dent. I don't know. Kind of right, see it right there. Whatever. That's a uh, amazing. We'll give you a fresh sleeve. How about that? Um. Wow. That sucks, but that's still so cool. That's amazing. Because other that sucks. It'd be I see a little whitening on a couple of the edges, but like I don't see anything on that hollow. Did that get like an eight or something, or does the dent just? It's not even that bad of a dent. If I were to grade that, I mean I don't really care to, but. That's just really cool. And we paid $30 for it. Tell me because that dent, it's like worth $30 now. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that from that binder. I was like, oh, it's like half full. Man, why couldn't it have been like in any other spot in the binder? Yeah, it's been like that. Uh, I mean, that's been sitting in a binder for like 20 years or something like that. But yeah, that's the Charizard, the Rocket Charizard. I'm just looking at it really quick. We have a lot of cards that we have to go through here. I can't be doing this. <laughs> but... These are the first time I'm seeing all my stuff. And like, oh, I've got some lightning there that you can't see because I'm holding it very badly. But whatever. So that's pretty cool. Two rocket Charizards. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Let's, let's do one of these barns. That's that. Keep that one for a second. This, we got, everyone probably has these. And it's not Pokemon, it's Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I liked Dragon Ball Z back in the day. It's a great show. I haven't watched, is, what's it called? Is it called Super now? Where it's kind of like they're redoing it? I've watched like, 
think I've watched the movies. But I don't really watch the show. I don't know if any of these would be worth anything. These are cool. I mean, that was always so cool seeing Goku go Super Saiyan like that. Piccolo is always awesome. Yeah, that was always such a cool... What's that attack? I can't remember. What's it called? I can't remember because he always charged it up. Finger laser. Does it say what it is? Piccolo relies... Wait, he relies on Piccolo's new lethal weapon. Piccolo summons an extra power. Special beam cannon, that's what it's called. I was, I was, I was reading the back of the card. Filling me in. Freeze a fight. That took, like, all my childhood to... Like, all, like... Whatever years of childhood would consider, like, ten years to, for Frieza to finally get defeated, basically, it felt like. Um, yeah, the Raditz. Stuff. That's pretty cool, though, seeing that. I like seeing that. Let's show... I guess that'd be considered anime or whatever, right? And this one, I peeked into, and I was like... That's kind of a cool card. I thought it was something kind of different, but it's jungle, a lot of first editions. But what's this one from? Is this the pro? Is like a promo or some kind of deal? The first edition Pikachu with the Wizard of the Coast on it. That's kind of cool. I think it's like a forty dollar card when I looked it up on eBay. I thought it was a lot more. I guess PSA graded. It probably is a lot more. A lot of these are first edition, but I don't think. Turn focus. Uh, I don't think the ones that should, that would be like, very expensive are in first edition, but like kind of whatever. Um, there's also a lot of, a lot of cards in these. First edition Eevee might be kind of cool, right? Um, I think there's like several Jolteons. And I don't, I think, I feel like one of my friends told me to start doing that. I don't know which ones would have the no symbol other than hat. Well, obviously, that's kind of a dumb question. Uh, they just wouldn't have a symbol. I'd have to look through all of them. So I do have a site there that I bought. I think it was like a PSA 6 or something like years ago. I think I paid like $20 or something for it. That it was a no hollow, uh, the no symbol. Uh, I thought that was like super cool. So we have to check these hollows. Because, oh, come on. This is annoying. <laughs> okay, that one only has one. I'll put you back in there. You've been safe in there for a long time. It just looks, but some of these look thick. No, mime hollows. See, none of the, it's kind of, I feel like it's weird that none of the hollows are first edition. Here, this Jolteon. I think there's a bunch of Jolteon or something in here. What's going on? There's like several. Oh, at least two. Oh, that's got foil. Man, why is that camera just not... They both have kind of foiling on this side. Is that because I just pulled it out of that? Or is that just already there? It's kind of telling the edges. We both have it. Hopefully that's, I didn't just do that point. Well, I wouldn't have done it to the second one. Cause, um, yeah. I like, don't, I want to kind of keep them in the binder. <laughs> Actually, I want to make, I want to buy some of the good binders and just rebinder everything. So that's okay. We'll keep them up. Yeah, two Jolteon. A lot of people like Jolteon. I just had two of them there. Uh, Snorlax Vaden was always funny. I probably shouldn't worry about it because they're like all these. Like, I, I think there's like a couple of bottle plumes in there. Is there a Dragonite? Why isn't there a Dragonite? We found like so. There's like five Clefairies in there. That's weird. None of the Hollows are first edition. Though. I'm not sure why. The Pikachu's pretty cool though. That's a pretty cool find. What's this one? So this. Everyone also probably has these. I don't know if any more, but I know back in the day everyone has these. But these pages, I hope these pages aren't, because I have one that's going to be like a really cool binder. <laughs> that I had to imagine, because these are all Japanese jungle. So I guess I was making one for Japanese jungle. 
I don't think I have any of the hollows in it. I have one that's completely full of all holographics. <laughs> and I hope these pagers... We should test it out on these. How do you get the cards in there? I thought they were from the side, but they tied on the back. Okay. So hopefully these aren't going to be stuck to the... Okay, good. That's... That's a good sign. Because these pages are stuck together. Are these? Ooh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I'll just show the holographics in the one, and I'm just going to have to... Because I'm, like, sit, I'm like leaned over sitting way back. Uh, let's just show that. I think it's this one. <laughs> Cause I have to take them out. I want to take them out, but I'm gonna have to do it very carefully. So this one gotta catch them all. We, yeah, this is kind of cool. The base set Japanese. Ooh, what's that? Please be on the binder. It is. Okay, I saw that mark. It's a base set Charizard. I think the Zapdos might have a dent in it. Cause if you can see over here, I had there was another card in there. I think it was an Ekans card. Paid twenty five dollars, twenty four dollars for a rocket, Japanese rocket, hollow gold bat. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't think the I think the Charizard's completely okay. Uh, turn the page and I take my hand. Okay. I think the Blastoise might. These cards here might have a dent because of the top loader being closed so tight on it. But yeah, got holographic. Got Magneton, Scyther, another Magneton, Blastoise Rocket, that's a cool picture, Pidgeot, Jigglypuff. That one called like Koga's Bee Drill or something like that, that's a very cool artwork. There might even be some doubles. I don't know, these pages, I feel like, I don't, they feel thick, I know they're back to back. Uh, Machamp, Aerodactyl, Giovanni's cool. Nine tails. The Growlithe artwork's awesome. Which you can't see. It's pretty cool. That Hypno is always cool. I want to remember that Hitmon chain. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's probably cooler than that. Because it's a base set, right? It's cooler than that one. I think Gengar is really cool. The Alakazam is awesome. The Dark Gyarados, right? I hope I have that Gengar. There's like a... I feel like there's several cards in there. The Dragonite artwork's awesome. The Misty's Gyarados is awesome. That Moltres is really cool. Not the same or no. I really hope I have that Gengar. I do! Yes! Okay, so is it, because that's the Japanese one that has the, whatchamacallit, the, like, cemetery in the background, the headstones, right? I can't, you can kind of not tell at all in this. Uh, it has a swirl, though, you see that? Probably can't. Oh, look at a swirl. You can kind of see it right there. It's sick. Well, I think I see a print line through that Moltres, kind of. Um... That's cool. Okay, so is it cheating if I put that in my Gym Heroes set? <laughs> Just to save the money. Maybe a placeholder for a while until the prices go down? Because they're starting to go back down. Oh, we're over 15 minutes. I should start a new recording. Okay, kind of surprised that let me go over 15 minutes. Because usually it stops. Uh, Gyarados, that's super cool. I'm surprised I have... I don't really remember the base set ones. There's Raichu's... <laughs> I don't know if any, there might not be doubles in this. I don't know, because these aren't doubled up. Energy's really cool. Oh, I love Dragonair. It's probably, Dragonair and Ghastly are probably tied for my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I feel like there's two pages here stuck. Oh! No way, are you kidding me? We got another of the Gengar, <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, and we got another of the Blastoise. So that one on the front could be damaged. We have another, wow, well, we got a couple of, that Zapdos picture, I always used to call it Zappudos. I'm not sure everyone knows what the cards look like, but this is like a terrible representation of them. But, that's a very cool artwork. 
See, the, I'm so worried about because none of these are really sleeved. I don't think. And the Firo on the back. Some of them are, some aren't. That's what's scaring me. That they're stuck because I'm gonna have to carefully take these apart. Uh, that's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> as long as the Charizard is okay. See what I mean? You know, I mean, like, it's in a sleeve, but that's making me even nervous doing like this. Oh, I thought it was in the red one, but it was in the clear one. Okay, so please don't be stuck to the sleeve, because this is kind of cool. But I was thinking, I have to look to see the prices. I, I don't even have to look for first edition Charizard, because I know that's not happening, <laughs> ever. Uh, I didn't get it when it was $125 as a kid, and I'm not getting it as an adult when it's $125,000. I don't think it's that anymore. But, yeah, that's still not happening. But I was like, what if I got, like, all the Charizards? Like, this base set artwork? Because it'd be... I don't know. The Japanese have... The Japanese sets have base set too? Kind of thing? Or, I don't know, I just thought it was cool with that one. That, like, have the Shadow List, the Unlimited... I think base set 2 had one. Was there a legend? Was it legendary collection or something like that had one? Then like... Did Generations have one? And then Evolutions? That had one. And the reverse, I believe. Then... Uh, the most re that recent one set that I love, 25th anniversary. I have to look. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, these are just Japanese Team Rocket or whatever. I want to see how many sets I can put together. Because I have everything for base, jungle, fossil. Like I said that a bunch of times. Um, working on gym heroes. So that's kind of cool. I can kind of use the Japanese cards for like placeholders kind of deal. Isn't that the bit like the art changed artwork on Grimer? Or afterward because everyone thinks it's like looking up the girl's skirt. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh, I found a Sabrina with the middle finger one the other day. I forget what box I was going through. But yeah. Not, I told you I had a whole an entire, almost entire full. I mean, these are all hollows. Not all the way full, but that's a bunch of hollows. It's pretty sweet. It's all Japanese cards. Thank you to my aunt, uncle, and cousins in Japan back, then, back in the day that sent them. Um, more Japanese. Is this all the same? Will this be... Is just like essentially the base cards for the gym sets or whatever? I feel like this is challenge because they don't look like... The, I think they are. Isn't that... Because I think I accidentally for some reason bought the English version of... I, I think these are challenge, I'm pretty sure. Um, This Venusaur in English because I thought it was part of the uh, Heroes and it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. I think... But, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? How about anyone else have Goosebumps binders? This is a weird one. Ready? Hold on, I think it's in the camera. Hit the camera. Magic the Gathering. So I have zero idea on Magic the Gathering because I do have some binders. For me, honestly, two things. I went to a private Catholic school. I think right when, like, everyone started doing magic, it was like, you're the devil kind of thing. Or, like, everyone thought it was, like, satanic, I guess, or something like that. I remember that being on the news, especially being at a private Catholic school. Uh, it, 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 was, it was no, <laughs> ever. So I was, like, always weird trying to have it. It was, like, always banned in school for me. And the pictures scared me when I was a kid. Because I think they had, like, for, I don't know what my thing was. Like, skeletons when I was a kid always terrified me. And I think a lot of the cards, I'm not seeing any right now, had skeletons or something. And I was like, I'm not about that. But now that I'm older, these cards are pretty cool. I don't know. I have no idea what set. These at the bottom say 1995 Wizard of Coast. I don't know what set or anything these would be from. I'd have to do some eBay looking. Now these are white bordered. 1993 to what? I think this is 99 on the white border. I don't know. I don't know what anything. What a cool foil card. What is that? Thackery, 
fair oh fairy conclave i thought that was a c <laughs> for some reason that's sleep that volcanic dragon is that valuable i don't know there's also on the back side but yeah we got some we had some magic cards and they're actually amazing artwork so i was just unfortunately wrong when i was a kid don't blame anybody in the school.